So I bought a little Melro Bobcat M371 to do a few projects around the house. My intentions really were to squirt a little paint on it, fix it up, use it, and then resell it again. But then like what usually happens to me, I got attached to it and decided to keep it. So I'll have to make her mine. I fabricated and added a belt tensioner for the hydraulic pump. This will make it easier to change the belt and obviously keep it adjusted. The original mounting plate on the Bobcat did not match the new hydraulic pump that I bought. Therefore, I lost a lot of the adjustability. The belt tensioner seemed the easiest way to solve the problem. I made the motor mount with steel tubing and angle iron. I used the angle iron as the base. I overhung it into the fuel well. And then I welded it to the one inch by one and a half inch square tubing. And I made the upper with inch and a quarter angle iron welded to one inch square tubing. I had to extend the length of the chassis by three inches to accommodate the V-twin. I used three inch square tubing. I capped the ends off both for looks and also if I choose to in the future I can drill a hole in them and fill them with sand to get more of a counterbalance. I found a scrap piece of auto exhaust with the right sized flange on it and bends. I was able to cut in the right places, rotate and re-weld to get the correct angle to put my fuel fill in a similar to stock location. I built a spare parts and tool compartment into the battery box. I bolted the muffler to the frame, so I had to use some flex tube between that and the motor. The Predator had a nice little control box mounted to it. I mounted it to the roll cage and it fit nicely. I was able to squeeze in a few more switches, one for my strobe light, one for my lights, and then I made a reel quick tatch. As you know, when backing up a skid loader, it's hard to see what's behind you. So I wired in a backup camera into the strobe light switch. I mounted the camera itself underneath my battery box. I mounted the monitor up in the corner of my cage. It's out of the way but really convenient when I need it. Then I found an old magnet and I fastened it to my cage so I could easily detach and attach my monitor.
you've probably all experienced the inconvenience of getting in and out of the cab to attach and detach your bucket. I mounted a linear actuator and then wired it into my control box so I can clamp and unclamp mine from my cab. And there we have Brutus Bobcat. The increased horsepower, torque, and convenient features make this a pleasure to operate.